What's going on, guys? This is A Bay Bay from TikTok, and I'm chilling here with my Lao bro, Muhammad Anwar, and you're listening to the Muhammad Anwar Project. Enjoy! You have a pre taped call from an inmate at the Correctional Facility of California. This call and your telephone number will be monitored and recorded. To accept this call, say or dial 5 now. Thank you for using. What up, Beagles? Cracking, man. I haven't heard from you in a little bit. Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is uh, Puna Cile, C-I-L-E-I. Uh, I'm over here incarcerated at, uh, at uh, uh, Richard Donovan in San Diego. I mean, uh, R.J. Donovan in San Diego, level four. And uh, you know, I've been uh, confined now over like about 25 years and stuff in, uh, for attempted murder on a police officer in the... Uh, you know, uh, I just want to, uh, you know, if anybody hears me out there, you know, want to get at me, uh, uh, anybody will be appreciating this stuff. You know, I've been bored, uh, and uh, would, would, uh, would appreciate any kind of correspondence with anybody. So, uh, yeah. But, uh, yeah, I want to tell you a story about how uh, unpredictable prison is. Okay, uh, you know, I just got off the show in 2009 for... Uh, Attempt to murder and stuff on another inmate and stuff. This call and your telephone number will be monitored and recorded. I did like a uh, five year show and I uh, got out. Show is like solitary confinement. So I got out, got transferred to Salinas Valley Sea Yard, level 4, 180, general population. And uh, while I was over there, you know, I just had surgery coming at the hospital, neck surgery, because uh, I had some medical issues with my spine. So uh, while I was there, um, another youngster pulled up from, uh, from, uh, out of L.A., from, uh, Oriental uh, Lazy Boys, uh, uh, he was a, he was a kid, he was 18 years old, so he moves in the cell with another old man, Cambodian old man from Asian Boys, uh, and the kid, he don't know how to act in the cell, he's acting like a kid, and he's, uh, he's in the cell with the old man, a killer, you know, the kid keeps on disrespecting the old man, the old man gets tired of him and start cutting him up with the razor blade. He calls for the officer to come pick him up. Officer comes, take him to the hole. He got, uh, he, he saw sliced up with razor blades and stuff. He's bleeding everywhere. So they put him in the hole for his, uh, uh, safety. Now while he was in the hole for his safety, they clear him to come back to the yard because apparently it was, a uh, it was a personal issue between him and his silly. At first, the officers thought it was a hit, but uh, considering it was a personal issue, they released him back to the yard. So he gets back to the yard. He don't know. They don't know where to put him in with. So they come and ask me, "Hey, uh, Mr. Lane, would you take?" Uh, I said, "You know," and I talked to like yeah, the other uh, homies, and it was like, "Yeah, hey, Rose, would you take the uh, the youngster in?" Uh, everybody got silly. I said, "Yeah, bring him in and stuff." Uh, so I sent him in the cell. He comes in the cell, he's nervous because this is his first time on, at the prison, in prison, and uh, he, he's, got, he's, got, he's already got sliced up. And I tell him, I said, look, whatever happened between you and the old man, you're necessarily, that was a personal thing, don't worry about it, it's a done deal, it's squashed, there is no issue. So, you know, and I'm, I'm, I'm looking out for him, I'm, uh, I'm showing him love. And at the same time, and, you know, I'm putting, I'm lacing him up on game. And now every day, I, I, I show, every time I show him love, he gets suspicious. He goes, oh, why are you always uh, nice to me and stuff? Why are you always looking out for me? Why are you doing this? Is the homies getting me? Is the homies getting me? Because that was the old man. I said, nah, man, don't worry about it. It's a done deal. Don't worry. So every day I go to the yard, he doesn't come out. I go to the yard, come back in the cell. He's automatically thinking, since I'm out there with the homies, Everybody is prodding on him and stuff. And I had to remind him again. I said, no, look, it doesn't work like that. You're my silly. If something happens to you without my knowledge, I got your back. You know, that's just how it is and stuff. Uh, uh, there's no gray lines. Uh, that, 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 between, that was between you and the old man. Everybody got love for you, so don't trip. That was personal. And that's how it, just how it is. And, huh? So, so he's getting nervous every time. Now, another day goes by, he keeps on sweating me. Like, oh, man, 
why? I mean, I just, the homie's telling on me, so he's nervous and nervous and nervous. Every time uh, somebody's showing him love or trying to lace him up on something, he's getting suspicious that somebody's out to get him. He thinks the old man is a, a, a he's an old, a, my old man, Cambodian old man, and, and he's the he's the youngster, and uh, and all the agents on the yard is going to get him because there was an old man involved. So uh, I said, no, nah, so... I got tired. I told him, look, man, stop asking me that. Leave me alone. If you got a question, go ask them. Because uh, I'm tired. Uh, if you don't want to, uh, if you don't want to uh, live in the cell, go find another cell. If you think I'm, uh, uh, I'm plotting on you, I said, no, it ain't even like that. You know, uh, you're young. I'm trying to let you. I'm trying to help you, but you keep on making uh, 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 like uh, insinuations that I'm over here plotting against you too. He goes now, so. I, I go to sleep. I, I go to sleep, right? And uh, I hear the officer goes, you think you're passing out the meal because when you're sleeping, you can also hear his dad. He, well, it don't matter. You can be in a deep sleep and know everything was going around around you. So I hear the officer passing out mail. He's getting closer and closer to my field. And then I hear it rattling. I hear rattling at the door. At the same time, the CEO is calling my name for mail. I hear the rattling. So I think it's the officer opening the door. Because, you know, the doors make a lot of noise when they open up the, 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 uh, the tray port. And uh, while I'm saying, I'm barely, I'm, I'm about to open my eyes. Next thing I know, I, I something hits the bomb and hits me right in the head. Bah! I, I look up, I jump up off my bed. And under my bed, I have a bar. So I jump up, I bust my head on the bed. And I'm leaking everywhere now. And then he, when I look up, he swings again, this piece of metal off, of my, uh, off the wheelchair that we had by the cell. He swings again and he busts me on the side of the head. So now I jump off my bed and I rush his ass. I rush him and stuff and I had him against the toilet. I had him in between the toilet and the wall and I'm stomping the shit out of him. And uh, while I'm doing that, the CEO sprays me right in the face with the pepper spray. So now I'm covered with blood because I busted my head on the bar on my bed. And, and um, the side of my head is, is swollen, and, uh, 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 you know. This call and your telephone number will be monitored and recorded. They take me to the clinic to address my wall while they roll him up to the hole and stuff. And uh, the whole time, he does that because he thinks that we're out to get him and stuff. And you see, that's the thing about prison, man, uh, how unpredictable it is. You can be the, the best of friends of somebody. And somebody can turn around and stab you in the back and stuff, man. Yeah, man. Uh, 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 went to the show, to the hole, and while he went to the hole, we're sending kites out. Hey, kill this dude. Kill this dude. Kill this dude. We're sending messages out to other prisoners. Kill this dude. You gotta see them kill this dude. Kill this dude. Anyways, the dude got lost in the system. That's it. That's the last time I ever heard of him. So, uh, but uh, apparently he's still around. I just don't know where he's at and stuff. And that's just, you know, that. that this happened in 2009 when I got up to show, uh, the last time I got up to show, well, no, the, the, uh, the, uh, the time before that. Yeah, but uh, that's just how unpredictable prison is, man. People think there's a game in here, man. And, and you got people dying all the time, getting strangled in these cells, getting their heads cut off, getting their hearts, you know. One of the Usos that was uh, with me in uh, Salinas recently, he ran with the side siders. They, they, they gave him a hit to, uh, to do it on his celly, and he opened that those uh, guts up and tore out all his intestines and heart and stuff. Yeah. And uh, that's just how it is, man. You know, people think uh, they, they uh, want to gangbang and come to prison, and it's all good. They can kick back because they, they did something out there. There was somebody out there on the streets. But once you come in prison, you ain't nobody. You can put in, you can kill 10 people out there. Come to prison, that don't matter in prison. You're starting your career all over again. They're going to give you a knife. They're going to tell you to do something. If you don't, yeah, then uh, something will likely happen to you and stuff. But uh, like I said, it goes all the way back. It goes back to the same thing. How uh, unpredictable prison is, man. You got to listen, man. That's the main thing in prison. You got to listen. You don't listen, you're going to get hurt. You're going to listen, you're going to get hurt. If somebody's scared of you, they're going to hurt you. Just 
just don't know and stuff. Uh, I just ran into a dude over here recently, he just went home. Uh, he went out there, got into somebody, and somebody busted his busted his head open, and now he can't walk, can't talk. He's uh, brain damaged. Um, yeah, it's a uh, prison. Yeah, yeah, don't say something to the, uh, the people out there. Man, please do your best to tell your youngsters, tell the homies, tell your brothers, don't come to prison. Don't come to prison. No, you come to prison, your life expectancy is gonna go way down. Yeah, especially when you don't, when you, uh, when you got a bad attitude. You got a bad attitude, you ain't gonna survive in here. Somebody's gonna like you turn you out, send you to another prison, turn you out, do all kinds of stuff to you. Yeah. Yeah, was, but that's just the, uh, all the story, yo, you know? But, uh, yeah, man, that's just, uh, that's just one. And, and that's, you know what the funny thing is, was, That's the first time ever I got caught slipping in prison. Period. And I was surprised, man. And I, and you know, nowadays, man, I think about it, I said, man, that youngster was scared because he knew I had a, a strap, too. He knows I say strap, right? So he's new, he's young, he, he's thinking I got a strap, he's thinking, ah, oh, man, but I, I had no animosity whatsoever. I was trying to my best to look out for old boy, man. And he did that shit. You know, but that's just how it is. Like I said, go back to unpre the, 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 how unpredictable prison is, man. Especially level fours, man. You know? I see these dudes over here running their mouth a lot. You have 60 seconds remaining. Yeah. Anyways, um. Uh, yeah, I just want to uh, send my shout outs to my uh, my loved ones, my families, my friends out there that have been out there, and, uh, you know, my loved ones, and uh, anybody that's listening and stuff that, uh, you know, that finds uh, this, uh, 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 helpful to themselves and stuff. Yeah, uh, life, life thing. Man, I'm tired of this. I'm tired. I'm lonely. I'm, you know, twenty something years in prison. Same old stuff. Garbage food. We eat day after day after day after day. You know, same people yelling, screaming at you. Police telling you what to do. Yeah, but uh, at the same time, I'm strong. I'm maintaining, and I'll be all right.